Hey there. Something I find very disconcerting is when I see people kind of having an attitude of, ha ha, um, you're going to have something taken away from you, or ha ha, I'm watching you really, really worry and be concerned about something, ha ha. The attitude of people who, who will say things like, oh, uh, you're just salty. Or, uh, or they'll, they'll literally take, take a bunch of clips of people who are crying, who are concerned, who are distraught, and just laughing at them. If you don't, if that is somewhat the essence of what makes someone a bully. It's difficult not to see how the right, the right wing, tends to be the ones that do this the most often. Because it tends to be the right that gets its jollies off on taking civil rights away or restricting civil rights. Anything that can be done to shove forth that well, you know, everyone should uh, basically bow down to the majority culture here. Now, the left has its fair share of this sort of thing, but I guess I should say its very small share of this sort of thing. You have, you know, some things on, on college campuses where they're like, ha ha, we stopped uh, someone from being able to speak. Or, ha ha, I'm, we're making men feel uncomfortable with women. Ha ha, how does it feel? Ha ha. You know, there's that kind of attitude that, that happens there. And, you know, I, I, I think it's messed up. I do. I think it's messed up. There, there is a certain kind of bullying mindset within those elements of the left. But those elements of the left are doing... I mean, some of these people are shoving forth very dogmatic things. You better follow our dogma. You better think about all these rules. Because you're a terrible person unless you follow all of these rules. And you must think of things this certain way. Here, read our literature. And so it's people like that who will kind of shove forth that ha-ha thing. It's kind of a bullying thing. It's, it's messed up. The right's a lot better at it, though, because the right has a long tradition of it. The right has around 2,000-year-old religious book to back it up. Look at all this tradition backing us up. See? Tradition. Tradition agrees with us. Tradition likes us. Tradition is our friend. And once the left starts to shove forth things that are traditional in their own right, it, it, they're new traditions, but they're still traditions. And once this expectation of traditions is, it, it starts to be, it, people get an attitude about it, um, yeah, you become just as bad as the side that you speak against. My view on that is, hey, whether your traditions are new or old, you know, enjoy your traditions. Just don't expect anyone else to conform to them. You know, this stuff is supposed to be about free thought. You don't have free thought by just going with the flow and being a sheep. Well, we're, 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 we're sheep that are on the correct side. No, but you're still sheep. Why do you call yourselves free thinkers when you all think alike? You all use the same concepts, the same way of explaining everything. Oh, but we're free thinkers. No, you're not. This is why, even though I really disagree with so much stuff that that uh, Camille Pallia says, I still have to give her a lot of respect for looking at this stuff independently. She does not take a stance that I see a bunch of others taking. There are some similarities, but she definitely has her own thing going on. I don't see that much going on on in some of the uh, the feminist circles. I just don't see much going on in that regard. I don't see much independent thinking outside, you know, let's just push forth some batshit crazy stuff. 
oh, biological sex is a social construct. Oh, great. So why don't we just say everything is a social construct, right? Let's put everything as a social construct. Then we can just throw out the phrase social construct, um, you know, very 1984, right? That's what bugs me a bit about the changing of words in general. You know, it, it's, it's, it's an eventual thing of uh, the desire to make it so, you know, words like racism. Well, you know, we want to erase the idea that those words ever meant anything else. It's, it's very, it, that's worrisome for me. The people who seem to be doing the most of this ha-ha thing are Trumpites. No matter what side it comes from, though. I don't understand how someone can have that little regard for other people. I, I don't understand it. I just, I, I don't understand the whole bullying mindset. I mean, I know how one can get sucked into it, but how can you not eventually see, hey, this is kind of messed up? How can you not at least eventually see that? How can you just keep doing it and you think it's okay. You think it, it it's, I mean, yeah, free speech. Oh, yep, yeah, free speech. But that's not what free speech was designed to do. Free speech is designed to be something that you know, you're, you're talking about unpopular ideas. You're able to say something as unpopular as you want. It's not designed for libel or slander. It's not designed to bully others. That's not the spirit, so to speak. That's not the main squeeze of what freedom of speech is supposed to be about. Now, I mean, yeah, you're free to do those things, but what is the outcome? What, what do you want the outcome to be? You want them to be scared? Well, then that's kind of like the, uh, that's kind of like uh, people saying it's totally cool to punch a Nazi. When I was at the protest, I met this this cool lady, who uh, you know just we we had we talked a lot, and we were going both going back to Tacoma, so you know we both sat in the same little area on the bus. She wasn't initially understanding, you know, how someone could say, well, well, yes, colleges should be able to have uh, you know speakers that say unpopular, very very unpopular things at them, you know, and she was referring this uh, to Milo. And uh, I'm going, well, no, they, they should have the right to speak, and then people should hold them accountable for what they say and should ask them questions that show how stupid their belief is. She goes, okay, well, let's, let's, say, uh, uh, let's say there were some black racists. Should we allow for that? And I said, well, some colleges already have. Quite a bit, actually. So why shouldn't the other side, uh, you know get to push forth their their bullshit and you know it, she didn't really have an answer still had an enjoyable conversation but but she didn't have an answer to that we need to allow different viewpoints to be able to be spoken whether we find their beliefs terrible or not the problem comes into place on any side when people feel they should start bullying others on the uh, on the internet, uh, both sides do their fair share of this. Pretty much do it equally. You know, I'm going to try to make you feel like shit for having the beliefs you have. That's the goal: is to make someone feel like shit for having those beliefs. And that's just not the way to go about it, because that's that's the same kind of method as when Christians will try to make people feel bad by telling them, oh, well, you're going to burn in hell for eternity. You know, same sort of shit. Same, it comes from the same place. Now, going back to this element of, uh, ha ha, I see that you're, you feel terrible. You are worried. You're concerned. Ha ha, I'm going to laugh at you being concerned. A lot of it is, ha ha, you have to follow traditions and be just like everyone else. Ha ha. I did it, so everyone else should, ha ha. But other examples of the left besides on, like, some of these college campuses doing this would be, ha ha, we enacted uh, gun regulations in this area, ha ha. Or, you know, ha ha, you didn't get to restrict people's rights, ha ha. Ha ha, you didn't get to destroy someone's life, ha ha. You know, that's kind of where it would often come from. 
But but the other that example I gave earlier, you know, haha, uh, you know, you you just had some of your gun rights taken away, haha. Yeah, see, that's uh, that you know that that that's that's the really messed up version. That's the bullying. That's the one that someone has to have a bullying mindset in order to even think that sort of thought. You've got to have some sort of bullying element to you. Now, I suppose we all have that within us, but for you to actually kind of go through with it, in, in, uh, at least in words anyway, to actually go through with it, yeah, that's, that's, that takes a, a special kind of messed up. It does.